Hi everyone, it's Jacqueline, and today I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection. And I know I haven't been filming in a while, and I've been busy. Honestly, I'm not making an excuse. It's almost the end of the semester, a lot of work to be done, and it's just crazy. And I noticed that I got to new subscribers, so I want to give you guys a huge shout out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate that. And yeah, I'm going to show you my makeup vanity thing. Can I not flip the camera? What the heck? Hi everyone, this is my makeup vanity right here. It looks humongous on here. So here's my bathroom right here. And then here's my vanity. So that's going to be... Oh shit, there's my dog too. She stinks. Like, you stink. She's carrying Terry. So here's the bathroom again. Here's the vanity. It's actually not a vanity. It is actually a dresser that I transformed into a vanity when my mom actually put it here, which is very convenient for me. I'm just brush my teeth and then yeah, put my makeup on. So I'm going to start on the right and then work my way to the left. So here I have brushes. There's a bunch of cheap brushes. I do not have the money to pay for these nice expensive brushes. So most of these brushes are from Amazon and the ones that I got from Amazon I don't really use. They're really cheap and they kind of suck and they shit a lot. So I do not recommend getting brushes from Amazon. I got the 32 piece set for $12. I thought, oh that's such a great deal but it's really not because I can't even use half these brushes because they shed so much. And yeah, that is my brushes. And I have eye in here, I'm not sure why. Or probably because I didn't put it in the drawer. So yeah, it's right there. So yeah, I do not. I need more eye brushes. I need to invest in that. I need a job and I need, yeah, I need a job. That's what I need. So right next to the brushes, I have, oh look, I have reflection. I look like an alien, right? Okay, um, here's my little necessity thing that I need. And this is the Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer. It actually is really low on supply. So I've been using this Neutrogena Healthy Defense, but I don't really, I like the smell of sunscreen, but this is just too thick for what I need. And here is Argan oils. Um, I was gonna get the was it Jose Martin thing from Sephora, but it was the bottle's a little literally this big, and it's twenty dollars. And I got this whole thing for eight dollars at Marshalls. Yeah, Marshalls. Yeah, Marshalls. They have this whole Argan oil section. So if you're looking for Argan oil, you should definitely go to Marshalls instead of paying twenty dollars for a little bottle. And here's this organic lotion. And Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, which I know a lot of people love, but when I use it, my eyeliner just drips off my face, which is very unattractive. And here is Estee Lauder Gentle Makeup Remover. Yeah, it's really and then here's makeup wipes and this machine. It's not a baby wipe thing machine. And here is a little jar thing, pot thing. And I keep scissors, nail clippers, tweezers, and there's this little stick thing that I use because it was for a Sally Hansen bleach kit, but yeah, no one cares about that. So I'm going to put that back in there, and here is my little thing that I put on my earrings and things that I usually will typically wear. I don't really wear them okay, ever. I don't think I ever wear them. I usually wear these ones and these rose ones. Which I'm wearing a white color right now. Yeah. And this thing goes onto the scissors. I'm not sure what that is. And then I put my little. So I just realized that I was recording and then it cut me off and I don't even know why. So I have. I did. I went through all this stuff. But now I have to put it back in. I don't know how to go this stuff. And so I'm talking about this, and this is where I keep my jewelry stuff. And they cut me off. So I'm kind of mad about that. So here is my orange drawer where I keep all my eye products. 
And I have to go over this again, but no problem. These are, this is the mascara I use every day. This is the Sumptuous Extreme uh, Mascara by Essay Lauder. I recommend this. Um, it gives you the volume and the length, and it just looks awesome. Sephora Smart Liner. Um, it is angled, and I heard people don't like because it, it dries out. That's why I put tape on it so it doesn't dry out. And a wet and roll. Is a wet and wild? Yeah, wet and wild, black eyeliner, wet and wild, top tip, bunch of hot topic eyeliners. These are actually the first type of, not first, they're the first makeup product I ever bought. I used to shop at Hot Tops when I was in middle school, and this is just, it was really cheap, so I was like, I'm going to try it. And I, that's my first makeup product, and it looked ridiculous. I looked like a raccoon when I wore it. I regret that. And here are e.l.f. eyeliners with sharpeners. I don't really use this, they're pigmented, but when you put them on the eyeshadow, they don't really show up good. And here is my eyelash curl. Uh, extreme, no, no, full exposure Smashbox mascara. And I'm not crazy about this. It gives you the length, but it does not give you the volume. And here is a cactus eyeliner. They're real by benefit. I'm sure you heard about this. And this is, I really like this product. I should repurchase it. NYX eyebrow cake powder. Elf um, eyebrow gel. I don't recommend this. It ran out in two weeks. And look how gross it looks. Yeah. This is Grow Luscious by Redon. Oh, I like this. This is a drugstore mascara. This is Turbo Volume Express by Maybelline. And I like it. Smashbox Limited Limited Eyeliner. I haven't really used this, but I don't really like it that much because it's not as creamy and black as I found it to be. Eyelash product. There's like barely anything in here. There's like Pretty much gone, and I only use it twice. This is a physician's formula eyeliner. I thought it'd be like the felt tip eyeliners, but this looks like a watercolor washable marker, and it just looks bad. I show sample, sample, black color thing, Maybelline eyeliner, Starry eyeliner. Uh, Another one by Estee Lauder. Homemade eye cream. And a Digimon sharpener. I used to love that shit. And now I'm just realizing that I went through the lip drawer and then it cut me off. And so I just, okay, a lot of footage just went and gone. So I'm going to record them. Here is all my little products that I already showed you. My stupid camera cut me off. So I'm just gonna go over this really quick. Baby lips by Dr. Not it's not by Dr. It's by Maybelline. And I'm not crazy about this. It smells like cherry cough drops. Tokie Doki lip stain, which smells overwhelmingly like strawberries, EOS, honeysuckle, which I love the smell on it. Cheap lip gloss by Forever 21. It's really sticky. Do not buy it. It's a waste of money. Mac and Diva. I don't really use it that much. And all these Estee Lauder lipsticks are from a Hollywood set. And I have Vaseline Lip Therapy. I have two because I thought I lost one. Then I found it last week. And so now I have two. So that's that. Okay, no, that isn't on there. I know, yes, it does. Light Pink Jewel. I have these face powders. I have NYX Blushed Blushes Pinched Mocha. No, this is a pinch. This is Mocha. This is Terracotta Max Spring Sheen Elf Blush. I use this as a highlighter and I can't open it. I'm going to try to open it with one hand. Can't stop the pasta. Yeah. I was about to call it Nick and NYC smooth skin and 
this is the brand that I use in every video. Bahamas and Mama. And if you want this bronzer, by the way, because I know a lot of people are raving about this, get on Amazon. It's so much cheaper. So there's that. So Doki bronzer. This line has been discontinued, if I haven't mentioned that. I don't think I have it. I got this discontinued two falls ago. So this is the cheapest thing as far as I just bought it. Because I didn't have no one either. And that's the right one. And then a Watts Up by Benefit. And a wrinkle clean thing. Which I should probably get to one. Last drawer is the... I didn't say last drawer, I said last drawer. Just to clarify. This is um, and also a face product drawer. This is a Elf Tone Corrector Palette. Which I really like. And if I use a foundation that is light coverage, I just use this and it really evens out the skin tone. And a Clinique Stay Matte, which kind of works. MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. I did a review on this. I can put that in the link in the description below. Maybelline Concealer Age Rewind. There's like powder form of this in here in a play-doh jar because my mom had it. She's like, I don't want to buy another one, so I put it in here. A uh, cheap beauty blender that actually works probably better than a beauty blender. I heard I uh, what is it, Goss makeup artist talking about how these cheap ones are actually better than the oh, I put eyeliner on it. The original because these are more durable, which I believe because I've seen people use the beauty blender and it can see like tearing. Smashbox photo finish oh, primer. Baby skin, which is really similar to the Smashbox one. And uh Revlon Age Defying Filler and Couple Girl Complexion. I'm just throwing everything in the pile. And sunscreen that I don't use. Okay, that's that. And then now these are my eyeshadow palettes. Um, here, I'll start at the bottom. It's an e.l.f. Little Black Beauty book that I don't actually use that often. It's just here. That's probably the first makeup. I'm just going to throw this down for a second because I have to open this. Is the Estee Lauder Hot? It actually, I'm not really a huge fan of this product. Because it isn't really pigmented. It looks kind of pigmented on my fingers, but when I actually put it on, it just dust away. Maybe because I'm putting it on wrong. Maybe. I don't know. Estee Lauder. This one came with another. The holiday kit from last Christmas. Yep. And I really like this one. It's a neutral shade, and there's a bronzer. And that's it came with another palette, but my mom took that one. And a Sephora palette that I got for the original price. I noticed that Sephora products always go on sale, so I learned my lesson. Always wait till Sephora products go on sale before you get it. Naked 2 palette. This is the pro. I can't find my words today. I wasted all, all my intelligence in school, so now I'm just really stupid now. So here's the Naked 2 palette that I use almost in every video because this is the only palette where I, the pigmentation of the eyeshadows are fabulous and you probably already know that. It's in the packaging right now because I'm actually going to exchange it for a new one because the hinges broke so it won't close. And where's my chair? Thank you. Here is the drawer that I just keep random things in here as a merchant nail polish and here are a bunch of oh my goodness I found it I had a what is it, a sample eye serum thing for dark circles because I have really bad dark circles and I couldn't find it and there it is and so here's all my nail polishes spoiled which in the world um mega class Mega last. I like it. And yeah, a bunch of nail polishes. Tub of gasoline that I don't know what to say about that. 
And here is a fake beauty blend. It looks exactly like the real one, doesn't it? Like, if I didn't tell you, you'd probably think that was a real one. Whatever. And here are my foundations. CoverGirls, Outlast, Stay Fabulous. Let me focus this. 3-in-1 foundation. Clinique BB Cream. The Balm. Shelter. Now the Balm. Balm Shelter. Tinted Moisturizer. I did a review on this too, so I'll put that in the link in the description below. And Nutritrina Shine Control. I did a, a review on this too. If you want to see that. Um, I don't really use this often because I feel like it gave me a since I did that review. And then Revlon Photo Ready, which is my summer foundation because you can see it's darker than the other ones. And now I'm just like running time. You can hear my voice. And then here are just the little quads from Revlon, Sonia, Cashew, and a little quad from Hot Topic palette that I got a long time ago, but it doesn't work. It doesn't, it's not working. I'm falling asleep while I'm doing the video. I'm sorry. So here is all my makeup in a pile, most of it. And where am I? Right here. So let me flip this camera. I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup collection viewing thing. I know I'm kind of like slipping up on my words. I'm just really tired. I apologize. Um, by the way, I'm not bragging. I'm not a bragger. This is just, I know some people are interested in what people work with in their videos. And this is just all the products that I have that I work with. And 90% of these products I have bought myself uh, I just save money and then I spend it on makeup yeah I'm not really smart about that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe um I'll see you next week hopefully I will make a video and if you want to see certain videos leave that suggestions in the description not the description the comments below okay bye